I think she's a loner. I think she's got like like anyone who's suppressed like a huge part of themselves, she's not quite totally living fully. By the end, she probably is more, but she's sort of living a kind of half-life in a way. Um, and I think she's, uh, I think she's become quite cold, really, because she's, because she's suppressed this side of herself. She's like, it's in half of hers in the freezer, you know, um, and she thaws out definitely during the the, the uh, course of the of the story as she starts to like awaken in all different ways. Constantine's very unpleasant. I, I think he's great. He's a real kind of he's an anti-hero, but he becomes heroic by the end. But uh, he's an anti-hero all the way through. I love that. I mean, I'm I think yeah, I'm get, can get very tired of heroes personally. I think anti-hero is pretty interesting. Keon is completely, totally committed to what he does, to his work. One of the most professional people I've ever worked with. Um, if I say to him, hold on, where does this scene come? He'll go, it comes exactly after this, this, X, you know, like he knows everything. There's nothing that he leaves up to chance. You know, he's very deep, deep, deep in his character. I'm wildly impressed with Francis. He's just... I mean, I'd watched his 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 uh, show reel because obviously he comes from the music video world, so I knew that he had this incredible visual vocabulary and visual imagination, and was adept at using um, CGI and uh, t you know telling a story within a, with three minute, four minute framework. But you just don't know when you meet a director how they're going to be with uh, actors, or how they're going to be in a set, or how they're going to be under the pressure of a six month shoot or a huge studio movie, and he has never, ever once, for one second, let me down, ever. And um, I hope I haven't let him down either. I've tried not to. But w w what I mean by that is that if I, you know, as an actor, you have lots of questions and worries, and is this right, and should I be doing this? And, and oftentimes, particularly on big movies, you actually go, hold on a minute, I just, I'll talk to you later, or not now, or they go, yes, and they're not really listening. And Francis, if you have any question for him, he's yes, and he's right there, and he totally listens, he tunes out everybody talking to him. He's very zen. 